Hey guys, it's Jenny from Creature Cove, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Let's get started. Today we're going to be customizing these Crested Gecko hatchling bins. So I need to give credit where credit is due. However, I could not find the person's name who suggested these specific shoebox storage bins. It was in my Facebook group, the Crested Gecko Breeding Group, which is a fantastic group, by the way, if you aren't part of that already. And she suggested these bins from Amazon, and they come to you in a box, unassembled. Is that the word? Unassembled? Disassembled? And I'm gonna show you quick how to assemble it so you don't make the same mistakes I did at first because it's a real pain in the butt. But these are absolutely fantastic to use as crested gecko hatchling bins. They come in two different sizes, like a regular size and then a large size. I actually got the regular because the large is very, very large, probably a little too big. So you're gonna get your, comes flattened plastic and they're creased already for you. So you just fold on your crease lines I'm gonna do this part really fast because it's pretty self-explanatory. And then on both ends, you have these teeny tiny tabs up here and you're just gonna fold those inward into the center of the box on all four sides, just like that. And then we've got our other side, fold it down, fold it down. And then for, this is what I love about these. So I have tried they're, they're shoebox storage containers, shoebox, shoe storage containers, I guess. And I've tried a couple different types, but they all have really bad ventilation to where it never dries out inside. It's, there's always some moisture and then it starts like stinking and things can mold. Look at this back panel. These are all holes. So the entire back side is going to be ventilated with air going in and in, you know, in and out airflow, which is great. However, the only problem with these, which is the same for all these shoe boxes, is there is a hole for where your finger is going to go to open your door. So obviously we don't want that. And that was the problem when on the Facebook group was everybody was like, well, how do we cover that hole? And the person that suggested it had tape over it, but I don't like using anything with adhesive to where the geckos could actually get stuck to the adhesive. And then another tr cool thing about these is they slide in and out of each other. So they're stackable and they've got these, like a, what is it? A, knot and groove um, situation where they can snap into each other in theory. There we go. And you slide them and then they lock into place. So you can, like these back here, these are all hooked into each other. So it becomes like one big unit. And these were only, f I'll put the link in the description below, but I got them on Amazon and you get 12 of them for $39.99, which is, I mean, for 12 of them, it's really good especially since my other ones I were using that don't have as good of ventilation were a lot more than that. They were 20 bucks for two of them. So anyway, back to assembly. So once you have your tabs in, there's a groove on the inside of here that you're gonna line up. And I start by putting obviously one side in first. And this is the part that gets a little tricky because you have to line it up and get it in the grooves. And then the tabs, once you push it in, the tabs will create like a locking mechanism. Hey, this is only happening because I'm doing this on camera. I, when I assembled all the other ones, it happened so fast. But now that the camera's going, boom. <laughs> oh gosh, guys. Somebody help me. Okay, let me stand. Maybe it's my angle. This is where the magic of editing will come into play here. Oh, this is just humiliating. There we go. Okay, so did you hear that snap? 
bam, bam, locked and loaded. It doesn't move, well secured. Okay, so now for the second side, it gets a little tricky and this is where I screwed up the first time. So I'm gonna try to save you some time. So the side with the knobs right here, the little stick out latches, make sure both sides have the stick out latches facing the same way. And then the indented grooves are both the same way. I made that mistake the first time and none of my bins fit together and I had to go back and it was terrible. So now we're gonna use the magic of snap editing and it's ready. So now we have our very cool gecko bin and the doors fold down. So when you have them all lined up like these, you can, well, you will be able to just open your door with your cute little handle and, and you're ready. So now we're gonna show you, let me show you the supplies that we need to get this done. I found this very cute way so I'd like to thank my Auntie Mary for supplying me these, but we were going through her scrapbooking materials and I came across these very cute door knob handles. And they're the kind that just have like the screw, like uh, cabinet door handles. And they just have the screw in the back. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if those would work as handles to my gecko hatchling and that would solve my problem. So these she said she got at Hobby Lobby in the scrapbooking section. I checked Home Depot because these are really, they're a lot smaller than like a, a regular door handle. So I checked Hobby Lobby to see if I can get them any cheaper. They had just like your regular sized ones which do work perfectly well. So you can always use a regular door handle, just one of the smaller ones, as long as there's a screw in the back. And then um, otherwise these you can find at like Hobby Lobby, a craft store, Michael's, that has the scrapbooking section because that's what these are for. So you'll need your handle. I use Gorilla Glue super glue sticks, hot glue gun sticks. And then I just used, this is also a scrapbooking, um, you can find it like office supplies. It's just like a thicker plastic. It was a folder, but I ripped it apart. So plastic. Scissors. Um, I happen to have a nifty difty soldering iron because I use it to poke holes in all the bins that we have. And then my hot glue gun. And that's all we need. So let me show you. First you're gonna just cut a circle out of your thicker plastic that fits over your finger hole latch or finger hole door opener. Oh, I lied, you're gonna cut two of those because you're gonna go one on the inside, one on the outside. And I did try a bunch of different glues with this plastic and honestly, the only thing that I was able to get to work is the hot glue. I tried super glue and I don't know if you can see on this one, but like the vapors from the super glue like de discolored everything. So it just, it's like splotchy and gross and and then it didn't even work in the end. It didn't hold, like it didn't stick at all. So hot glue is what worked. Oh, and I tried silicone. Silicone didn't stick either. I was so shocked. Okay, so now we'll take our hole and you're gonna do your inside. Your inside, I'm gonna cut this down a tiny bit more. It's a little big. And you'll notice the inside one has, well, the inside and outside have like indentations. Well, the cool thing about using the hot glue is you can actually fill in those indentations and create like a even surface to work with. So I'm just gonna place my hot glue around. You don't wanna leave any holes to where they can stick heads through or anything. And then you're gonna pile up the glue on the indented part to create an even surface. Boop, boop. And you're just going to stick your plastic on top. I also put a lot so it covers the edges, the sharp, any sharp edges of the plastic that you cut out. 
All right, and that's it for that one. So now for the next one, this is where the soldering gun comes into play, which you don't need. You can use like a screwdriver, any sharp object to get a little, you just wanna poke a little hole in the middle for your screw. So we're just going to melt our hole in the middle. Whoop. Just big enough to our, for our screw to fit through. Let me get my handle here. Oh, this one's got a bigger hole than my other one. Make a bigger hole. Ooh. Poke your screw through and you're just going to screw your doorknob onto the piece of plastic so it's caught between the two doorknob pieces. And then I make sure it's super tight so because you're gonna end up gluing it inside and you won't be able to get to it unless you pull off one of the pieces of plastic. And then do the same thing on the outside, which also has grooves that you have to kind of fill in. So you fill in your deep groove here with glue so that it's a little above your surface to make it kind of level. And your plastic touches all of it. Boom. Plop your handle on. And I have tried this like quality control style where I like sat there and opened and closed and opened and closed and opened and closed these doors to see if it would pull off. I'm assuming, I mean, it's just hot glue. I'm assuming eventually it's gonna give way and you're gonna pull off the handle. But then you can always just peel off, the glue peels off really easy from the plastic. So you'll just glue it back on. And bada bing, bada boom, you have, oops, as I just touched hot glue, you have your very cute little, look at that, isn't that adorable? So you can line, I have all different styles of little doorknobs. The other thing you can use that I haven't tried yet because I was able to get these um, is beads. You can hot glue beads onto there as like a little door handle, just use like a large bead. So I thought that was a cute idea too. Um, but either way, whoops, either way, you still need, I didn't give it long enough to, <laughs> to dry. Either way, you can uh, still use the hot glue and the piece of plastic and just glue anything that you think you can use as a handle to that. And then you don't have to worry about any adhesive sticking to your geckos and that causing an issue. And you'll always have your handle to open your little door. The other thing is uh, I wanted to share with you guys, which I think I have before, but like my little trick to decorating, especially the hatchling bins, because there's so many of them, is I use the dollar store for a lot of my plants and whatnot. And now they have in their tiny craft section, these amazing vines that have wire in them. And the leaves are already red. Like this is exactly how it comes. It's called, oh, it's from the Dollar Tree. It's called this garland is what it is. <laughs> anyway, they're cut pretty short, but I mean long enough to make very cute little wrapped spiral vines for them to climb on. And then they also, at the dollar store, have like little clip-on aloe plant, like, I mean succulents, which includes aloe, I suppose. But these have clips on the back already. You can buy them with the clips. And one, they have the holes in the back from, for all the ventilation. You can clip the plants Hold on, let me show you. You can clip the plant on to the back. So you can like, I mean, like I said, they're only a buck each. You can clip all these fun little things to the backs. And they have like foliage back there. Plus, I mean, we always use our cork bark too, which is cute. 
Um, so I always stick a piece of cork bark in. I th I'm definitely going to start clipping on some aloe plant or some succulents. And then you just put your little vine in there and bada bing, bada boom, you have got a super cheap, handy, crafty kind of DIY way of creating a ton of hatchling bins. And like I said before, they, um, they clip in and out of each other, which um, is great for like cleaning and stuff. It's easier if you don't have them clipped together. But it's so easy and it's so much fun to, <laughs> like, to try to find these little handles and you can decorate them any way you want. And it's cheap, it's easy, it's fun. So anyway, that is my how to cover your holes in your shoebox bins. Again, I'll link the, I'll put the link from Amazon for these in the description because again, these are one of the only ones that I have found that have the incredible amount of ventilation. Super easy, super fun, stackable in all different ways and great to use. So anyway, I will end the video here. It was a little different, I know, but I thought it was cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that and watch some other videos and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.